So what's the best way to find buyers for all your land deals you're ready to take down in this year? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I find buyers for all my properties so you can do the exact same. But just know at any time in the description, directly below this video is plenty of resources you could use to not only expand upon your monthly cash flow or to jump on consulting calls with me where I'll walk you through your first or next land investment deal. But let's get into this here. Everybody has the same two big problems when they're going into this business. How do I find great deals and how do I find buyers for these great deals after I take them down? So in this video, let's focus on the buyers and I've done other videos on this, but it never hurts to recap. So we're nice and fresh and ready to go. So in my opinion, the best way to find buyers is one, brand yourself. Now when I say brand yourself, pick one or two social media channels or content type channels. For me, I love YouTube and I'm trying to expand into Instagram, but YouTube is is my go-to spot. Create content on the subject. Even if you're brand new, just start sharing your journey, why you're looking at certain areas, what you expect to pay in certain areas. Just start drawing up that interest so people will start following you. Or you could be the, the content deliverer. And what I mean by that is you could say, you know, 10 reasons to buy property in this state, 10 reasons to buy properties in this county within this state, 10 reasons property value is going to go up in this state and just generate a big buzz around a certain area. Then as the buyers come in and say, hey, I'm interested in this. Fantastic. Here's 10 deals that just came across my plate and you could buy any one of those for $50 down, $50 a month for X number of months. So that's a great way to go ahead and generate a buzz around you and it doesn't cost you a thing. You're putting in sweat equity on the front end. So the money part cannot be an excuse on this. Now, the second part of this is a money part and I'm a firm believer in this, and it is paid advertising. So for me, I like to go where people are already looking for properties, and these are places like Land Watch, Land Farm, Land Flip, Lot Flip, uh, Land Century, you name it. I go to all the platforms, and I study what people are listing properties for. I look for the best possible ads on these. Now, how do you know it's a great ad? If you stopped in your tracks while you were scrolling, you're like, whoa, that caught my attention there. That's a great ad. You should probably save that template and then go ahead and tweak it so it fits your style. Don't copy anybody's style, but take their style and then pivot it just a little bit to fit what you're all about and then go ahead and promote your properties in the similar fashion. So buy ad space on these platforms and it's actually incredibly affordable to do. We're going to cover the whole what if people don't buy your property things in a second. That seems to be a big holdup. Don't worry about that. So buy ad space on there, promote properties that you are taking down. And as the buyer leads come in, even if they don't convert, we are saving all their information in some sort of uh, CRM, email marketing type campaign. I use MailChimp personally. If you reach out to me and you're not buying anything I have right now, not a problem. I have your email address. I'm going to save that MailChimp. I'm going to send you out content pieces. Just keeping me at the top of your list, sharing ideas on why land is a good investment, what areas I'm targeting so you can go ahead and follow me if you like my style. And when you're ready to break out the credit card, chances are you're going to do business with me versus all the other players out there because I stayed in touch. I built up your trust and we're ready to rock. So, Buying ad space is important. Don't be afraid of not converting buyers right away because in many cases, you will get the lead, you're gonna warm up the lead, and at some point down the road, they're gonna convert into a buyer. So don't sweat it if you can't convert them right away. A lead is a lead, treat them like gold, build that relationship, and eventually they will do business with you and you'll get that credit card number. So that's how I go about finding buyers. Brand yourself on any social or search channel. Do not try and do all of them in the beginning because you will do nothing when it's all said and done. And then go ahead and buy ad space on a couple of the platforms that look really hot that are converting well. You can reach out to me, jump on a consulting call, and I'll tell you where I put all my money yet to go ahead and generate those leads. But just go ahead and do that. Start building up your strategy. Stick with it. Things move slow in the beginning. People get discouraged because things don't convert overnight. But if you stick with it and you're in it for the long haul, sales do happen. Numbers start to compound. Then next thing you know, your car is paid for every month. Then you're making your rent payment or your house payment every month through these strategies. And it just keeps building and building as you expand. So don't give up. It's a new year. It's a fresh start. And I expect everybody to hit their goals this year. I expect you to hold me accountable on all my goals as well. So with that said, if you have any questions, drop those down below. Text me at 440-567-6040. As always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.